Hello, Pam Dina here. Is content marketing still even a thing? Well, I think so anyway. So let me share three points of view so that you can determine how to better incorporate content as a part of your marketing strategy moving forward. I wrote a book about content marketing back in 2014. Have been a content marketing speaker for years. So as a content marketer, I am older and hopefully wiser. <laughs> Here are three content considerations to think about. Number one, one size doesn't fit all. Not at all. 10 years ago, I preached about how to create one format of content to promote to all social media channels. Well, now I just said, don't do that. Okay? <laughs> your marketing channel can help determine your content format. People consume content across different channels in different formats. Some people may enjoy a short form TikTok video, while others may enjoy watching a more substantial YouTube video like this one. Whether via news channel, social media channel, print, streaming services, or e-commerce sites, etc., you are going to need to consider your audience here as you determine how to best format your content. Formats obviously include text, which is PDF, written format, audios, and video. Your channels will determine content formats because one size doesn't fit all. The way you write about blog posts will be different than you write about your video and a podcast scripts. For example, this specific video I'm recording right now, the topic for the video is three consideration as a part of content marketing, right? But when I wrote the blog post, similar topic, the title is the six biggest lesson I've learned from doing content marketing in the past 10 years. See the similarity and also the difference. And for blog posts, I pack a whole lot more content into it. But for the video, get to the point, three points. That is it. In addition, content is not free. If you do different formats, please make sure you allocate budget to do that. If your budget is limited, you need to prioritize the format of content you want to produce. When you are thinking about content planning, please take into account things like channel usage, format, audience preferences, and your budget, especially your budget, to make informed decisions. Number two, content promotion is more important than content creation. In my book, I made it very clear that marketers need to spend more time promoting content than creating content. That statement still holds true today. When you promote your content, pay or organic, doesn't matter. It's almost no exception whatsoever. You will see upticks in your website traffic. When you promote, you will see website traffic, okay? Promoting content is as much work as creating content. Trust me, I know. <laughs> if you have a massive following on your social media channel, chances are you don't need to do a major promotion to catch attention. So that massive following does matter in terms of a content consumption. But if you don't have that following, you'll need to add a pay budget to push that for outreach. So here's another thing to take into account. Add promotion and advertising budget as a part of your content marketing effort. Don't skimp on your content promotion budget. Number three, measuring content ROI is only possible as a function of marketing channels. In my book, I stated you can't, again, you can't measure content ROI all by itself. Content is content. It doesn't mean anything unless it's part of a content channel that you promote or part of other demand generation campaign. Metrics such as downloads or views are what I call so what metric. So what? Your executives won't care about these metrics unless you can show them the money. In other words, tie the metrics to some sort of revenue impact. So two interesting content metrics that you can take into account. These are just examples. 
Can you show the content drives the acceleration of NQL to SQL conversion? Can you show whether or not sales are using your content? Trust me, when salespeople say, oh my God, these content pieces created by Pamela are so good. I share that with my prospect. When salespeople talk, executives listen. So here are three quick rundown of my top three takes on content. Number one, no one size fits all. Number two, allocate appropriate promotion budget. Number three, use content as a function of a channel or sales usage. So if you like this video, I hope you do. Please give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe. I share lots of video and shorts related to marketing and life in general. Until next time, take care. Bye.